so what happened at this place that we're going to? So there so was like this gonna... devil worshiper in a cloak, like walking in like through a field. Okay, hold on. So out in Milner Dam, where we're gonna take you guys. Last we, time we, we were there. After, little, after little, little, last time we were there, um, we saw a man in like a black cloak, like walking through a field out there, like. Um, like agricultural fields, you know, like with plants and stuff. And we called Anson because we were like all freaked out. And before we told him what happened, he was like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, oh, we went for a drive out in Milner Dam. And he was like, isn't it getting kind of late? And we're like, not really, but the sun's going down. And he was like, get out of there. There's a lot of devil worshippers that go out there, like, at night. So we need so to that's where up. we're taking you. So it's like a, is it like a cult or something? I guess. I don't know who they are. My brother, your uncle, was out there with one of his friends named Brandon once. They had just been out, like, um, shooting guns and stuff like that. And they were headed home, and the sun was going down. And he said that there was, like, a homemade, like, plank of wood, like, with nails in it that somebody had put in the road. Pop their tires and Brandon saw it before they ran over it and so they like went through the field like around it and I thought that was creepy. Somebody was trying to like wreck their car. What, what position was the guy in? Oh like he, he was literally like in the middle of the field he and he was like wearing this. a black coat, cloak and he was like walking like this with his hands out like that and he was like looking up. Freaky. So it's becoming increasingly more late. And when did when did you guys see that guy in the field? Um, when the sun was setting. Oh well. And the sun was so soon. there's a good chance that we're going to see him again, and we might even go out later. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we're just going to have to see. The field, but then as we're leaving uh, Milner Dam, the road goes like this, and then there's a T. You can turn right or left he was like right there and he was walking into the canyon and we're like where's his car so there was that was the second guy we saw with yeah long hair and um i think and a cloak. We... did they leave you alone for the most part he didn't even look at us that was what's so weird i told brianna there was this guy just laying on the ground with no sleeping bag no nothing just laying on the <laughs> ground like by the riverbank it's still daylight, but I want somebody to know where we are, where we're gonna go. Hi, mom. Don't go out there at this time of night. The sun hasn't set yet. But still, bad things that happen, especially when it starts getting dark. Well, Anson, what happens? I mean. Well, do you remember, mom, when all the puppies would go missing? Yeah. Yeah. They would find them out in Miller Dam in a blue velvet sack with their organs taken out. Well, Bree said that she read something in the news that um, a lady ran into uh, dead, like bones yeah. of uh, animals and horses, dogs, cats. And, you know, there was a bunch of skeletons. Well, I was telling him I had read an article in the paper recently, and this is legit. I can send you a link. Um, that she was no, out I, walking I her... It. She was out was walking her dog, clothes. and they a stumbled upon an area that was like a body dump for animals. Yeah. And there was a lot of, like, dogs and cows and, like, a decaying horse and stuff. But after all of the stories that you had told me and the experience that we had there, I was like, I don't think it's somebody just disposing of dead animals. I think that it's like sacrificial stuff. Yeah. You said you were walking and you passed a guy with a cloak? In a black cloak with a hood on. So you said that you guys were the only one out there and there was... Yeah, we... There was no other cars around, so I don't know what he was walking to. Yeah. And he had, like, a staff? Yeah, and it was that it was that same trip. We were coming home, and someone had thrown a board in the middle of the road trying to flatten our tires. Yeah, I told him about that. That's crazy. 
You remember that? Yeah, I remember you telling me about it. And I remember you guys were really freaked out when you got home. Yeah, someone was trying to get us stranded out there. Yeah, and I don't really even want to think about why. We won't be there in the dark. I just want you to know where we're going so that somebody knows. Well, I don't know okay. if we have time to make it out there and back before the sun I'll goes I'll call down. you as we're leaving it, okay? Okay, make sure you do or I'll call 911. Take you though, because the story scared me so much. But I work with a girl who, when she was graduating from high school, like her and a bunch of her friends went out to this place, because apparently it's in Minidoka, where you can't, it's an underground house, so you can't see anything. But if you know where it's at, once you're there, you can see there's like a pipe just like sticking out of the ground. Yeah. And that's how you know where it's at. And I don't know like where the opening is or what, but they went inside of this house. And she said it's super creepy because it's like somebody was living there. And then all of a sudden they left like there's a crib in one of the rooms and like a rocking horse. And in the kitchen, there's like old dishes and forks and they measuring cups. Hurt. Yeah, it's like they left out of nowhere. But she said when they were there, there was this guy that was with them and he was kind of like telling them the story. And I don't remember it all in full detail. But he was like telling them the story about what had happened there or something. And I don't remember any of that. But she said that she kept like having this feeling while they were there that somebody was like following them like she kept feeling the need to like turn around you know and there wouldn't be anything there and then all of a sudden she said out of the corner of her eye she could see this like shadow and she said that when she looked at it what it looked like was like a person like crouched in the corner like she oh, said that it. she like got so freaked out she screamed and like they all ran like out to the cars and when they got to the cars none of them would start and me, in my head, I'm like, okay, somebody in your group was trying to scare everyone, so they undid something under the hood. Like, who knows, you know? But she said that they all, they kept trying to get everybody to go back in the house, but she was like, no, I'm staying in the car. Like, I'm not getting out of here. And then she said all of a sudden the car started and they left. And she was really, just like, really freaked out for a long time Is it called? It's called Miller Dam, though. Someone lives in that house. There used to be cows in the house. It's weird. There's like a little structure there. You can't see it. But... No. They're like. Are those? They're tents. I don't know what. There's more of them. There. I see one, two. just laying in the road and, the and he like looked at us and I was like 
like how am I supposed to get out of here and so I just like put it in reverse and slowly backed away because it was just weird. Seriously, you saw feet? Well, are, are you being serious about Oh, I am. It freaked me out. Like boobs. Well, that's where they At hide. the bottom. Oh my god. So, is that a dog right here? Are those animals or stumps? Those are stumps. You know I can't see with my glasses, but the you feet were feet. close enough that I could see them. Brianna, are you sure that you I actually am. saw this? I really did. Get out of here. We came back just like we are. And we left and we went down and we saw the cemetery and then on our way home we stopped no in here because we needed to pee yeah. and he, the same guy that was laying in the middle of the road was sitting just right there and was looking at us really weird. Come from this area, oh, okay. so, we uh, uh, so there's this. Oh, there's this with a kid. It's just people. Yeah, it's just ordinary it's people. But you see, they don't have a tent or anything because they are leaving. Well, we've gone to a few areas and it's getting darker, so. But now we're going to the cemetery. Once we're going to the cemetery, are we leaving? No, uh, we'll after have to... the cemetery, we'll head back to town because I think it's going to get too dark. No, didn't you see And I will wrong? not be out here after dark. Yeah. Well, here's the cemetery. Oh. See, Richie, there's no names on them. It's just a rock and a board. Richie, and, and there's like people sculptures. they find and nobody knows who they are. Milner Cemetery. It's a sculpture of an owl. It's the sculpture of an owl, Mom. I think you're allowed to do that. Yes, you are, sweetheart. Oh, there's a sculpture of an owl, Mom. I think you're allowed to do that. Yes, you are, sweetheart. And they stab us with that. So all this stuff was... all. Most of this stuff was born in the 1900s and 1800s and died in the 1900s. So it's obviously really old. There's a fire. I can like smell the smoke. I can oh, oh, across my. the way. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's across the river though. We're okay. Yeah, it might be burning fields. Yeah. But why would there be burning hills? Fields. Farmers do that sometimes too. Like they burn the bottle pit to kill weeds. Oh. Mom, why is there a bench there? So people can sit. So the sun is just now going about to go under, so we better get out of here soon. So there's obviously a fire over there. The purpose of the fire is um, like unknown. unknown or it could very well just be burning crops but with all the stuff that's hap uh, happened and said to be happened I doubt that it's that. So now we're turning around. We have to go back through to get to the other side. Yeah. Piles of stuff. Well one of them's ready to burn and then one of them has burned already. It's like they prep it early right? Mm -hmm. That's been burnt already and that's and ready, to burn. ready to burn. And it's like directly across from that one that's to... burning across the way. Yeah. Oh my gosh, our car is 
What's wrong? It's not starting. Why did you turn it it's off? Because I thought that if I turned it off and turned it on again, it would. There's a car coming. A... Please be a good car. Richie. It's okay, Please Deacon. It's okay. It's not. It's okay. Well, it's like a dance. bus or something. Why is it not turning Why over at it, all, buddy? Mom? Turn your emergency Put your lights. heads down. Why is there a bus? I don't want him to know I have to Why is there a bus? If they stop because they're like wanting to know if something's wrong, keep your heads down. That's a camping. Hang on for just a minute. Oh my gosh. Praise Jesus. Oh my gosh. Back on. Thank you. Like it's not giving it any gas though. Are we out of gas? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm freaked out. Oh. Your mom, are we it's out? It's better of to gas? go slow than to turn just it off. To just be moving, right? I don't want to waste whatever energy we have. <gasps> what? what do we do? So the car's moving it's slowly. What's that car? Our car's moving Can again. Our car's moving again. I don't know what happened, but our our car was legitimately just not going.
devices that the people can use like to knock out like cellular stuff. It, like EMPs? Are there things that they can do that with like car batteries? Like, it, like, why would my car stop? Well, Elliot a, had that one that would turn your TV off from the windows. Why not? There's a truck following us. They were probably in Miller and they got out. Because oh, yeah. I don't believe that, like, spirits made our car stop. But I believe that people could have used some kind of device to, like, like the stop one their car. Has the, at the Aubrey's party, they'd go to the windows and turn the TVs off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like that. Do you know Richie? I mean, there are like EMPs. I mean, I mean, maybe that's bigger, but it is possible. Um, I don't know if it actually happened or if it was just a huge coincidence. But there's I mean, no there's that. there are too many coincidences for there's this no to way that not could be true. Be, uh, so obviously we're out now and we're all safe but our car legit just stopped and Brianna said she saw things and I mean a lot of people say they saw stuff and I luckily didn't see anything but there's obviously stuff going on like the fire and the yeah, cemetery. Like, there's no way this could have been a coincidence like there was like such a big of a coincidence that it couldn't have been I'm just so happy that we got out of there and our car worked. When I thought that I saw someone, I like I was driving and I thought I saw them and I looked away because I got scared and I was like, no, there's nobody there. But then I was like, I'm pretty sure that I saw people. And so like I looked again and there was three separate people. And my left eye is really bad because of my bleed. So, like, I made sure that I looked all the way with my right eye so that I could, like, really see. And there was three separate people. One had, like, a jacket. And then I don't know what the other two were wearing because I, like, zoned in on the guy in the middle. But I know it was three men. Ugh, it was really creepy. Thank you guys so much for being so calm in that situation. I feel like I was going to die. I feel like I was going to die.